and welcome back to the Brick City. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope it's going absolutely incredible. Now, I do apologise firstly because I am, you know, coming, well, I'm not coming down with colds, but it is freezing outside, so I, I'm feeling a bit of, like, cold symptoms, but I'm not too bad at the moment. But obviously today we are going to be building something that uh, we've actually built before, and we built it before Christmas. And this is not a new set this year, although we do have a few new sets to build for this year's lineup. And I do want to go get some of the uh, newer bits as well from this year. But this is something I've actually wanted to do before Christmas. And that, of course, being building the Lego City car wash. Now, actually, we did build this, you know, we like I said, we built this before Christmas. And the original plan for it was just to put it in the city and kind of leave it there as a bit of a filler. Just because, you know, like I can't afford to buy modular buildings every single day and like when there's new ones and stuff like that and i obviously can't get a lot of the old ones as well um so for me like kind of filling up the city you know you've got to get some bits like this or like the three in one creator sets which i think are cool uh unfortunately we didn't get any buildings this year which i was hoping for but we didn't get any and you know we've just got to live with that but yeah of course what we're going to do with this is we are going to create it into one kind of modular set and obviously I'm not too sure how I want it to look yet. I'm not too sure how the plans are going to go for it. I'm thinking maybe centralize the building and then off to one side we can have like the air pumps and bits like that and some other kind of greenery and little areas going on. But I'm not too sure as of yet how we're going to do it. Obviously there is bits I want to remove and edit myself. But, you know, we've got to build it first. So I think we should jump straight in, crack it open and start building this set. So let's do it. bag complete now we don't get too much so we get the little uh, li uh character here which looks really cool she's got a pineapple t-shirt on kind of tied at the bottom uh some kind of generic blue trousers a nice blonde hair piece and she's got a very smiley face and she actually doesn't have a you know like doesn't have two prints on the face just very happy and smiley character um we do get the car which you know i'm not too big of a fan of just because i think there's too much color variation in it but whilst I was building this, now I didn't think about this the first time, is I might actually change this into a taxi. So get rid of the green and then add yellow here and here as well. So we'll just see. But it might be something to kind of play around with and chop and change into a, you know, maybe a nice little taxi. Seeing as we have two of these now. Um, and I think they would look really cool as taxis in the city. Something I did actually, you may have seen, in, I don't know how uh, quick it was in the time lapse, but I actually thought the whole time I was missing the sticker pieces. They were actually tucked inside the instruction book, up, and luckily we did manage to find them. But yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a basic car. <laughs> There's nothing too special about it. It does, however, have something that I think is really cool. Uh, and a lot of Lego cars, I think, should come with it. And that is, of course, a parcel shelf at the back. So it means you can put more bits in there, install things, you know, make it, like, look more lively. So, you know, in some sense, I do like this car, but... I think I'm going to have to make some changes to it and then we'll maybe see how it looks. But yeah, we also do get a little kind of air pump or kind of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like a clean, maybe it is an air, I think it is like a tyre air pump. So I think that's really cool as well. Uh, and there's nothing too special about that. But, you know, having two of these for the car wash as well, when we do fully build it into a modular building is going to be very cool. Now, I think we should move on to the second booklet and carry on building. So let's do it. bag two is done so we do actually uh, complete all the minifigures that we should have in this set so uh, that being this gentleman here and he looks really cool i like the kind of face piece that comes with him with the glasses and the kind of freckly beard as well i think that looks really nice we also get the newer caps which i love the new caps i think they look so much nicer than the old ones uh with the curvature in it you know it just like brings it a bit more to life uh he's got a printed torso and it's also a printed 
printed on the back as well um it's like very cool dungarees and we get the generic blue so this is like the normal lego blue trousers as well and he also comes with a broom but he's very cool now we also start on the building of the car wash in this set uh in this bag sorry yeah obviously it would be in this set um, and what we actually do is we add kind of the road plating going on here so the cars can drive over it, uh, which I think is going to be really cool. And I think I'm going to incorporate this into what I build as well, leaving like a gap like this in the middle. I don't think I'm going to tile off the whole thing. Uh, we also start to build up the walls on the outside and we add the washers in as well. Now, I can't push them this way because the brick... Oh, no, I can. I was going to say the brick would spin. I did try that whilst I was building and the brick span. But what's going to happen here is when the car drives in, the car can drive in and push these washers out to the side and drive through. So I think that's a really cool feature and it's a nice little play feature as well to come with this set. Um, you know, if you are to play with it. But I also think it looks really cool as well and it does look like, you know, maybe as you would drive into a car wash, these would move and wrap around the car as well. So I think that's really cool. But, you know, there's nothing too exciting about it yet. Uh, and that is actually what is to come in bag three. So let's jump back into a time lapse and carry on building this thing up. have finished building this section of the build now uh, we do of course uh, build up the walls on the outside and we also tile off the roofing bit on the top here and that's of course so we can put the new section uh, in bag four for the roof on top which is has most of the playable features in this set on it so i think that is going to be really nice to do and to be fair when we do modulize this probably going to be the section that we change the most on because uh, you know we're not gonna we're not gonna use it for playing we just want it to display and look really cool and like a car wash uh we also do add this beam in the middle here which is very nice and this of course being so the car can drive through it and that'll lift up and clean the roof of the car i wish it would stick kind of higher up uh like about there but it doesn't uh it just drops down like i want it to stick there below the build but you know it's not going to happen and we also had some lights on this side and a little holder for the broom on this side as well as you'll see on the box but I think we've got one more bag to go and that is of course the roof. So I think we should jump straight back into another time lapse and start building it. So let's do that. finish off the roof just like that and yeah it looks incredible to be fair the roof has probably got to be my favorite part about this and probably the reason that i like this set so much and i think a lot of it is down to this sign here on the front the car wash sign uh, i think it looks really really nice and you know it like i like the bubbles and the big kind of uh, round tile pieces here as well i think they look really nice um we also do add kind of the fans on the back here to dry the cars off um i'm not too sure they're very bulky and i think when we do build our version of this they're gonna go and maybe we can include them inside somewhere you know on the walls but i'm not too sure as of how we do that or what i'm going to do with it yet but i'm not too sure well we'll, we'll have a think about it and play around and mess around you know off camera and then i will come back with a bit of a revised plan we do also add in the little dropper sections here and this is of course you drop them down and all the well <laughs> the ice cream foamy pieces i know it is foam but they are of course like the little ice cream pieces fall on top of the car and overall like the amount you get in this set for the price you pay for it i genuinely think it's amazing like it's a really nice playable set and obviously we get the car we do get two minifigures with this uh, we get the car wash and then we also get this section which does because of the pins nicely clip nicely clip on the side there and you know obviously there's like lots of playable features and stuff you can do with this set and for a kid this is an absolutely amazing set but as an adult if you get two of these mash them together um then you know you've got a full working car wash and i think that looks incredible as well and you know that there it is it's fully built it is quite a cool set for quite a small set i really like it and i think it's one of the better lego city sets that came out in 2023 and it's making me really excited for a lot of the lego city sets that we're getting in 2024 and now obviously we have got a lot already and a few of them i would love to grab and turn into modular buildings such as the fire station but you know of course we do already have a fire station so it wouldn't make any sense for me to do that 
well i don't have a fire station but modular buildings i created a fire station so i'd much rather get one of them than you know make my own well for now anyway <laughs> i just think it'd be a lot easier uh, and a lot cheaper and you know with time constraints it'd be a lot easier to do as well but obviously tomorrow what i'm going to be working on is i am going to be working on turning this into a bit of a modular building now i do have a few plans of how i want to do it and where i want to go with it um but you know it may be a bit of a trickier job than i'm thinking because obviously i'm constrained on pieces and we might have to order pieces or sort some other bits out but i'm not too sure as of yet how it's going to go but we will see tomorrow so thank you very much for coming by and watching my video today if you have enjoyed please remember to like subscribe and follow and i will see you in the next one goodbye